I've made a couple of videos about this. You know, China has a terrible, terrible situation in society. There's a big problem there, and that has to do with school mass stabbings. But it's, people like to equate it to uh, school shootings in America, but it's not the same. Um, there's this revenge against society situation in China where usually middle-aged men, um, disgruntled adults, they lash out by going into kindergartens and middle schools and stabbing young children, killing young children, murdering young children. It's awful. And the reason is because of Chinese society. And, you know, I've spoken to a lot of Chinese people about this. It's taken a long time to try and understand this. But in Chinese society, especially based on Confucianism, the biggest damage you can do to society is to attack children. Yeah. Because children are the basis right. for society. They, I mean, everyone knows children are the future and all that, but this is in a different context. A child is seen as your retirement, okay? And your support structure for an entire extended family, especially with a one-child policy. What will happen is two sets of grandparents and the parents throw everything they can into making sure that that child receives the best education possible, mm -hmm. the best opportunities possible. Um, they invest so much into the child in order to make sure that when the child uh, graduates from school, they have the best opportunities, they can get the best kind of job, have the best future. And, you know, kind of as an aside, and probably the real reason is they'll be able to look after the parents better when the parents get too old to work and the grandparents too, because sure. you'll live in the same house. So by going after that child, you hurt society the most because you hurt the older generation, probably the people you're pissed off with, right? Yeah. And that's why it's such a big deal. Um, but, you know, a friend of mine in China sent me this clip, which um, you can see behind me, is kind of like a drill. It's, it's an advert for a kindergarten there. It's like some international kindergarten. And it shows how they drill and deal with potential knife attacks. And um, for those of you at home, you see a kind of a disgruntled guy walking up to the, the front gate of the kindergarten and demanding entry. Um, like and, his clown shirt. Yeah. It's <laughs> Two teeth che, che Guevara and the yeah. clown, it looks like. It is. He demands to go in and the security guard's like, no, go away. So he does the typical finger the point, pointing. The, the point. They love point. the point. If there's an argument in China, you'll see the a point. A lot of pointing. He shakes the gate and he's like, okay, screw this. That didn't work. So he's like, I'm, I'm going to go around the back. <clears throat> so he runs around the back of the kindergarten now. Um, yeah, please stand by with my blow-by-blow -blow narration. He jumps over the fence because it's not well protected at the back there. You know, um, a lot of kindergartens have razor wire and stuff for this reason. Um, okay, one of the assistant teachers runs into the office. Well, no, she runs, hits a, a siren, okay? Um, the security guard runs out with his bat and he, she runs into the office and tells another lockdown, assistant lockdown, teacher. Lockdown, lockdown, lockdown. <laughs> she's on the microphone, on the PA system, telling everyone, like, you know, go into lockdown type thing. The security guard... <laughs> He's like, you like, get out of here. Security so, guys don't usually have No, they don't. They don't usually. The guy pulls out a knife, the security guard, and he says, this is none of your business. Get lost. The security guard's like, okay, I just won't intervene then. Um, <laughs> honestly, he didn't try to do anything. <laughs> now the kids are being, like, rushed into a classroom, mm. all right? barricaded into the classroom, told to go underneath the tables because that's going to help for th with a stabber. Um, they don't latch the door. They come and put a, uh, a one kilogram plastic table against the door. <laughs> they put another plastic table upside down on top of that table in front of the door. Not a very secure barricade, but they're holding the door. They tell the kids to be quiet in the corner and they're like holding this attacker off with this plastic thing. And finally, the security guard decides to go shield. pick up his riot shield. Uh, the, they got those prong things. Yeah, they love those yeah, things. Yeah, the, the assistant catchers. teachers come with the like sheep, whatever you call them, herder things. Yeah, they it's all, a dog catcher. Like, yeah, yeah, they all hold this guy down and they disarm him. And uh, then this guy says, okay, kids, everyone's safe. Let's, uh, let's practice our drills here. Yes, put the chair on top of your head. Get under the table because that prevents knife deaths, apparently. Um, and everyone's clapping in the background and they're showing, you know, look, we use these shields, we use these prongs. Now, I mean, it's good that they're doing it's this. It's fantastic. Yeah. Okay. People have to be aware. This is a problem. It's like you, when you need fire drills and active shooter situation drills in the West, you need, um, you know, adult coming in to murder kindergarten children with a knife drill in China. Unfortunately, it's that prevalent. It's really bad. You know what I mean? Anyway, we just had to show that to you because... It's a massive issue that has to be spoken about. And it's something that's terrible. It's terrifying. Don't forget, you know, um, when we were living in China, your daughter would have gone to school there. Yeah. You know, if yeah. I had stayed in China, my daughter would have gone to school there. Yeah. Imagine having to worry about this. Mm.
as a as a thing when they're in kindergarten you know what i yeah, mean yeah it's usually kindergarten it's usually you know small i mean you five don't, year olds yeah, four exactly. year olds five year olds four or five year olds it's terrible we're going to be talking about plants and animals that came from China yep. that are ruining your country. They're forbidden fruits or whatever. Forbidden <laughs> fruits, you know? She does look like Xi Jinping. It's Xi Jinping, dude. <laughs> that is Xi Jinping, but S-H-E. Easy to catch, I guess. Chop, 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 Sorry, I don't understand. Meow, meow, meow. Meow, meow, meow. Last five times, I also bought this. This is my flavor. They suck.